हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल सिंप्लीफाइड कंप्यूटर साइंस कंसेप्ट्स बाय प्रोफेसर ऋतुजा टुडे वी विल बी लर्निंग हो रामा मूर्ति वन फेज अल्गोरिदम व्हिच इज अ सेंट्रलाइज्ड डेडलॉक डिटेक्शन अल्गोरिदम इन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड सिस्टम्स सो दिस वन फेज अल्गोरिदम द नेम इटसेल्फ सजेस्ट दैट द अल्गोरिदम विल वर्क इन वन फेज हाउएवर इन आवर अर्लियर क्लासेस वी हैव स्टडीड हो रामा मूर्ति टू फेज अल्गोरिदम व्हिच इज एग्जीक्यूटिंग Uh, for two phases and it is a centralized deadlock detection algorithm now here there are multiple sites that are there into the network each site will maintain two status tables that is process status tables and the resource status tables the process status tables will maintain a records of the resources that are allocated to the processes while the resource status tables will maintain the records of the processes that are assigned to that particular resource or the processes which are waiting for that particular resources similarly it will happen for all the other sites in the network now when we say that this is a centralized algorithm that means there is a central node or a central site that will come into picture so this control site is there which periodically requests for the status tables from all the sites now all the sites will in turn reply the status tables the control site will form a wait for graph and it will check for a cycle if cycle is there then there is a deadlock if no cycle then there is no deadlock now here it is not able to identify the false deadlocks and it eliminates the inconsistency how it eliminates the inconsistency so see here let us consider that resource r1 is there and it has been allocated to process p1 and this resource r1 uh, in the resource table just see the entry that r1 is assigned to p1 however some other p4 process which is on site 2 it is waiting for r1 similarly at site 2 at process table of p4 also we should have this entry that p4 is waiting for resource r1 so if both the entries are there then uh, there is no problem but if one of the entry is missing then a request or a release message from site 2 to site 1 is in transit and process p4 is allocated to r1 cannot be ascertained so uh, this is how the ho rama murthy phase 1 algorithm works and this eliminates the inconsistency because uh, we are taking only the information that is common to both the tables so the merits of this algorithm that it is faster than as compared to the ho rama murthy two phase algorithm however the demerits are it it requires more storage why more storage because it maintains two tables status tables for each site so that's it from my end i hope you have understood the concept thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any doubts please post into the comment box thank you